Hello everyone and welcome back to Midnight Violets. Today I've got another empties video for you, so it's like lots of empty things I've just finished up. Um, sorry about like this mess behind me. It is, I am moving in three days time, so the house is in a bit of a state and I've also just got back from holiday this morning, so a bit manic around here at the moment. I'm taking a bit of time out to chill and record a couple of videos for you. So you probably would have already just seen the what I took on holiday with me one, so um, yeah, that was probably up a few days ago. Um, I'll link it down below if you didn't know. But this one is my empties, as I just said. So I can chuck all my um, rubbish away before I move house instead of just taking like a whole bag full of empty bottles with me, which would be a bit weird. So I'm just going to get started. We do have a few shower gels this time. So the first one, it's got a bit of water in, um, is the Body Shop Chocomania Shower Cream. Um, it's 250 mils, and I think it costs about £4, so not too bad on the value front. Although I didn't find it particularly smelt like chocolate. It was more um, towards the scent of the shea butter that the body shop do. So it's nice. It's stronger than the shea butter. So it's nice. But it's just not quite what I was expecting. But it was still quite nice. So that was that one. Also got another body shop one. This is the spiced vanilla shower gel. Again this didn't really smell particularly spicy to me. I think the body shop really sort of do well with their fruity scents. I'm not so sort of keen on their like spicy chopsy like that kind of thing I, I'm, I'm in them for their fruity scents but again this was 250 mils this one was a christmas one and um, so you won't be able to get it like at the moment if you were to go in the shops but i think that they do sell it like most christmases i've seen this before so yeah um i don't think i'd run out and repurchase it but if i saw it on sale after christmas or something i'd probably sort of pick one up you know just as a nice cheap shower gel that i know is not horrible um, another shower gel I've got is another limited edition Christmas one. I'm obviously using it for my Christmas stuff at the moment. Um, this is a Lush Snow Fairy. It's just a small 100 grams one. Again, they bring this out most Christmases, but now I've said that, they probably won't. But um, who knows? Let's hope they do, because it's a really nice pink, girly, fruity kind of shower gel. Um, it does have glitter in it as well, which is a bit mad, but it doesn't stick to your body. It's just fun to like wash and stuff. Um, it's my new jumper as well. I went to town earlier to um, get the new sleep collections before I move in case I can get hold of it where I'm moving to um, and I saw this jumper in Primark and I couldn't resist it it's like holy and stuff it's really cool it was like £12 as well and I bought it in a massive size just so it's like oh, I'm going to stop fiddling with my clothes now anyway Snow Fairy Shower Gel finished liked it and I've lost the lid as well but it's going to go in the bin so it doesn't really matter you don't need to see the lid it's black if you're wondering um, my last shower gel is this original source one. This is a seasonal edition, but it's the British Strawberry Shower Gel one. This one, actually, it seems to be like a theme of me being a bit disappointed with my shower gels in this video. But original source usually have like really, really strong, intense, like amazing scents. This one definitely smelled of strawberries, like it was definitely a strawberry scent. But it just wasn't sort of as strong as the original source ones usually are. I don't know if it's because so strawberries are subtler and I'm usually buying like the lime ones and things like that. That's probably got a lot to do with it to be fair. But I don't know. It was nice and it's also really, really cheap and vegan and tested on us, not animals. So it's all nice and sort of friendly like that. Natural fragrances and nice and cheap. So ticks a lot of boxes for a lot of people and also smells really good. So I'm not going to slate original source at all. They are awesome. And then another thing from the body shop, I seem to have gone body shop mad using up at the moment. This is a honey and oat three in one scrub mask, so all empty. Um, still got the smell on there though, it smells really good. It's um, a sort of, it's a sort of classic oat based mask, good for dry skin, nice and sort of softening, but it's also nice and exfoliating and just leaves your skin really nice and soft. It's not the cheapest, the price will be here though, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's not the cheapest, but, you know, it's alright, it's good stuff. Um, probably wouldn't repurchase at full price, but again, if I saw it on a sale or on a deal or something, I'd probably pick one up, although, you can make your own oat masks, so, maybe that's probably a cheaper option. And the last thing that I finished up is some wipes, always some of these in, not my usual Wilkinson's ones this time though got a bit wild and gone for something else. These are the Superdrug Essential Facial Wipes and they're the chamomile ones for sensitive skin. Um, they also claim to be 4-in-1 cleanser, eye makeup remover, toner and moisturiser. I never usually listen to this 4-in-1, 5-in-1, 3-in-1, whatever stuff, you know. I just use it to wipe my face when I'm feeling really lazy and I understand that it's not going to get all my makeup off and things like that. So it's just, I'm feeling lazy or swatches on my hand or just refreshing you know that kind of thing um 
I did find that they were quite dry. They weren't sort of as moist as you usually expect your wipes to be. But um, whatever. I'm not sure if I'd repurchase them, but nice to try them. We like to try new things. So those are what I've got to share for you now. And I need to get using up, so I've got another video for you. I've got quite a few things that have got about this much left in them that I tried to finish before I moved, but obviously I failed on because I haven't got them here to show you. But um, anyway, thank you very much for watching my video, and I will speak to you again soon. Bye!